Have you ever wondered what causes global warming? Oh boy, have I. Then you're in luck, Billy. Yay! Here we go. Now, Billy, the first thing you need to understand is that global warming isn't in fact the sun's fault. It isn't? No, Billy. It's actually pollution's fault. Jumping jellicas, Mr. Narrator Man. It's pollution? <laughs> yes, Billy. Pollution. But not pollution in general, oh no. The main pollution that causes global warming is in fact carbon dioxide. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, Billy. It is in fact the very air you breathe out. So I'm causing global warming right now? <laughs> no, Billy. Don't fret. What we breathe out is hardly even close to what the factories and automobiles are breathing out. Oh boy, mister. You really got me worried for a second there. Well, you should still be worried, Billy, because global warming is no light matter. Global warming is going up at an extremely rapid rate. Well, you've told me that, that carbon dioxide causes global warming, but you haven't said how. Oh yes, how true. Well, what you have to understand is that we do need some carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But human usage in modern society is too much. How is it a good and bad thing? Well, the atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide amongst other chemicals. And this needs to be done to keep oxygen on Earth. Well, what we are doing is adding even more carbon dioxide to this, making it like a really thick blanket. And Billy, what happens if you have a really thick blanket when it's not cold? You... you get hot? Exactly, Billy. You get hot. Oh, you word it like such poetry, Billy. Ah, uh, you get hot. You get hot. You get... Now, Billy, before you get too scared to turn on your light, you must understand that it isn't average people like you or me doing most of the global warming. But... but you just said all that stuff... Oh, hey, hey, hey. You are playing a part, don't get me wrong. Billy, if you leave your TV on when you're not using it, you're going to put out a lot of carbon dioxide. But the places that are putting out the most are the factories. They use big air conditioners and big heaters and big lights and all kinds of big things, which use lots and lots and lots of electricity. Well then, why can't they just not use so much? Oh, it isn't that easy, Billy. They can't just turn off something important to their work, or else they could shut down or not make money. But what they can do, which they generally aren't, is they can lower their usage and make sure the mechanics and machines they do have are energy efficient, meaning they don't waste so much electricity when they are on. So, if they just have the machines that are energy efficient, they won't use so much electricity? Yes, Billy, that's correct. But what we are asking them to do takes a lot of time and money. Billy, so for that, in the meantime, people like you and I, who only need to make small changes, need to do it now to make up for the factories while they are getting ready. Okay, Billy? Now that you think you know everything I've taught you, I'm going to sum it all up just to make sure you know. Okay. Let's start from the start. What causes global warming? Uh, carbon dioxide. Yes! Well done, Billy. Okay, next question. Does breathing out cause any real global warming? Um, no, not really. Good, good, okay. Um, and what does carbon dioxide do to the atmosphere? What is it like? blanket. Yeah, it makes the world like, like a blanket and it gets really hot. Yes, Billy, that's three out of three. Now, who uses lots of machines and finds it hard to save electricity? Factories. Well done, Billy. You're really learning a lot. That's great. Now that you know everything you need to know about global warming, 
You can tell all of your friends. Oh, yay. Thank you, Mr. Narrator Man. Wait, what is your real name? <laughs> that isn't important. But I will tell you this, young Billy. I'm Batman.